Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Melissa and today's video is going to be all about skincare. It is going to be a two-part series. The first part is going to be about my core Paula's Choice products and the second part is going to be some drugstore options uh, that aren't, I'm not going to call them dupes because they aren't dupes, but they're options in case you are uh, you're not able to, you know, buy the Paula's Choice products or you would rather shop in the drugstore. You may have noticed that I'm sitting here barefaced in front of you because I like to keep it real on this channel. I just had a birthday and I turned 56 years old. This is what that looks like, or at least that's what it looks like on me. So I think it's really important to, to take good care of your skin and start from an early age and really uh, maintain what you've got. Uh, I think that good skin care is the foundation of any great makeup look. And the more that you take care of your skin, really the less makeup you have to wear. And actually that is the most beautiful look to just be able to use enough makeup to kind of cover up your flaws and enhance what you have. So hashtag skincare is sexy. So before I jump into the actual products, I just wanted to share with you some of the things that I look for in skincare because regardless of whether I'm buying Paula's Choice or if I'm buying something from the drugstore, uh, these are things that I look for across the board, across all different types of skincare, and I, and I am fairly picky. So the first thing I look for is, does a product have some skin enhancing ingredients in it, like retinol or antioxidants? I like when a product can work hard for me and it is you know maybe what you would call a multitasker and not only is a moisturizer but it also contains some anti-aging ingredients. The other thing that I really try and pay close attention to is to avoid products that have fragrance or alcohol in them because while you don't see any damaging effects immediately the long-term effects of using products that contain those ingredients can be damaging to your skin and you will see those signs 10, 15 years down the road and you won't really know why. And the third thing that I look for is the type of packaging it is in. I am shocked to see how many high-end products are in like an open jar packaging, which is probably the worst packaging ever. It exposes that product to the air and any skin enhancing ingredients that are in there are already deteriorating. You're at risk for contamination, so now you have this beautiful clean skin and you're rubbing a cream on there that is contaminated with bacteria from two weeks ago. So I really look for uh, products that are not in jars. So what do you look for? You look for something that's maybe in a tube or an airless pump. So that type of packaging will keep the ingredients fresh and stable so that they last longer and you'll get the full impact and value out of those products. So part one of this series is going to focus on Paula's Choice. There's no secret that I have a huge love for this brand. I think it is excellent. And the reasons why I like this is I find that it's reasonably or competitively priced with perhaps what you could buy at the makeup counter from any of the uh, any of the uh, department store brands and they're usually packed with great skincare ingredients and she has something in this line for everybody regardless of your skin type. Now before I get too far down this road I just wanted to share with you what my skin type is. Even though I'm in my 50s I still have uh, oily skin, I tend to break out, and I am also showing some signs of aging. So I have some fine lines around my eyes, and I definitely have some sun damage on my face, so I'm trying to hit those key points from all different angles. So I generally keep two cleansers going. I like to use a foamy cleanser in the shower, and at nighttime I like to use a creamy cleanser because I like the feel of it, and I feel like it also does a really good job of removing my makeup, or like 99% of my makeup. So I do usually have two different cleansers going at the same time. The first one I'm going to share with you today is the Resist Optimal Results Hydrating Cleanser and this is $18. So one of the things I really love about this cleanser is that it preserves and balances the, nat the skin's natural barrier. So it doesn't leave you feeling stripped 
or tight or any of those things that you get from other cleansers. Sometimes they feel they're just too strong. So the other cleanser I like to use is the Resist Perfectly Balanced Foaming Cleanser and this is also $18. This is geared more towards oily or combination skin. It's good for if you have enlarged pores or blackheads, it helps get in there and clean those pores out a little bit more. So the next step in my skincare is the Resist Advanced Replenishing Toner. And this is um, more than just what you would consider a standard toner. It has uh, a lot of really good skincare ingredients in it. And it actually, I feel like it almost acts like a skin softener. So this really calms the skin down and restores like your natural radiance. It has a lot of skincare ingredients, so it's, you're getting a lot of antioxidants and anti-aging ingredients on your skin and, and preps it for the next step of your skincare. The texture of this is a little bit different. It's milky, like a milky texture. Uh, so it's not going to feel like your typical toner. It's not harsh. It's really beautiful. I really love this. So the next step is something that's really pretty much all the rage. You see a lot of facial oils on the market today and I think they really are such a great addition to any skincare routine. You can customize your skincare by adding it to a moisturizer and making, you know, boosting the uh, hydrating effects of that moisturizer if you're feeling a little particularly dry that day, or you can apply it directly to any areas that you feel need a little extra uh, moisturization. For me, that would be under my eyes here, uh, sometimes on my forehead during the winter, and I do occasionally add it to my moisturizer to give it like an overall, like overnight uh, moisturing boost, if you will, almost like a sleeping mask. Uh, the product from Paula's Choice that they have is the Resist Moisture Renewal Oil Booster. So this is $35 and it is a blend of a couple of different oils so you get the benefit of many different oils not just one note in one type of oil which while there's nothing wrong with that why wouldn't you want something that has multiple oils that offer different uh, skin enhancing benefits. In the morning I usually just apply it under my eyes here and I give it a few minutes to kind of absorb and soak in. Usually I'm brushing my teeth or something and then by the time I come in here to do my makeup uh, it's absorbed in and it doesn't still look oily and it's kind of plumped up the skin under my eyes and it makes applying my the rest of my makeup really delightful. So then in the morning I use a moisturizer that contains a sunscreen because I want to make sure that I'm always wearing a sunscreen when I'm out and about. Now this is a holy grail product for me, but I am currently out. The last time I went to reorder it, it was out of stock and I just haven't placed another order since. So I've been using other things to kind of uh, bridge that gap until I'm ready to place another order. But if you follow me on this channel, you've seen this in a bunch of empties. It's the Resist Super Light Wrinkle Defense SPF 30. She has two different versions of this. One is more geared towards drier skin, and I like the one that's this is the super light one. It's more geared towards oily skin, so it doesn't it doesn't leave me looking oily or heavy. Uh, you know, with a lot of shine. This one also contains a little bit of a color to it, so when you open it up you're going to go, oh this is tinted. Well it's not really tinted, it just, um, I think it helps counteract the sunscreen ingredients a little bit so you don't get that white cast before you put your makeup on. So you could easily just wear that alone and not feel like, oh I look like I have that whitish sunscreen on. So in the evening I do change it up a little bit and I try to include some uh, either a mask or some uh, treatment products and there's two different ones that I like from Paula's Choice and I kind of alternate between the two of them. They do similar but different things. So the first one is the Resist Weekly Resurfacing Treatment with 10% AHA. This is $35. And it does say weekly. I think you can use it more often if your skin will tolerate it. But this has alpha hydroxy acid in it and that's the active uh, ingredient in it. This is more geared to people who have a drier uh, skin type. It helps exfoliate the top layer of the skin and will help reduce like any flakiness you have. 
will also help brighten and even your skin tone out, helping to diminish the look of if you have some freckles or age spots and uh, just kind of help with a resurfacing of your, um, your skin. And the way I use this, again, it's just a liquid that I put on a cotton pad and I just swipe it on my skin. Now, you might find a, like, a little tingling with this, but it shouldn't burn. Um, but I quite like this. And you have a choice, you can leave it on for five minutes and then rinse it off. So if you have really super sensitive skin, you might want to do that. I usually just leave it on for a couple minutes and then go ahead and apply my moisturizer over it. So the next product is the Resist Weekly Retexturizing Foaming Treatment with 4% BHA. And again, you use this in a similar way as you do this, you know, once or twice a week. Not on the same nights. I would not use them on the same nights. Um, but this has, this is more geared towards oily skin and the active ingredient is salicylic acid. And this is going to do a little bit more deep pore cleaning. And this is why I used both of these. This one is more surface. This is a little bit more deep pore cleaning. So uh, this is going to help um, get in there and reduce the size of your blackheads, help with enlarged pores. You know, it's never going to no product's going to totally make your pores shrink back to what they were, but it will help reduce the size of them a little bit. And on the product page, it does say that the salicylic acid in here is in a time release formula, so uh, it works, you know, releases it slowly and uh, does not uh, dry you out and make you flake. So, this is an interesting delivery system because it is a foam. And Basically what I do is I do one, sometimes two pumps. Go ahead and rub it in my skin. And I let it dry and then I would go ahead and apply my moisturizer. So the last product in my like core group of products from Paula's Choice is the Resist Barrier Repair Moisturizer. This is good for all skin types and it does contain retinol. This is $32. This is such a beautiful formula. It's just such a lovely lightweight moisturizer that really absorbs beautifully into the skin. I love the fact that it has some retinol in it and it's going to help fight the signs of aging. So I use this at night and I also bring it up under my eyes because I want that retinol effect under there. It's safe to use up there and you don't need a separate eye cream. You can use whatever moisturizer you use on your skin, you can generally use up under your eyes. If you want to use a separate eye cream, you can and I sometimes do, but typically this is what I use. So one of the things, one of the other things I love about this is it does uh, fully absorb into the skin so it doesn't leave that tacky feeling on your face. Now I've just applied a lot of products one right after the other so I am a little shiny, I am a little tacky, and I would never apply all these things all together, but um, <laughs> for the sake of this video, I wanted to uh, share with you how those work. So if you were to add up everything I just talked about, the two cleansers, the two treatments, the oil, the toner, and the two different moisturizers, that comes to $228. Now that sounds like a lot of money. Um, Typically, I'm not buying it all at once. Things last a different amount of time. And typically, Paula's Choice runs a lot of great sales and specials. So when I see there's something going on on her website, I'll try and take advantage. Like if all the antioxidants are on sale, then I'll buy that or all moist, you know, whatever it is. So I'll try and take advantage of that as well. There is a referral code down below. If you're new to Paula's Choice, you can get $10 off your first order. If you'd like to take advantage of that, that would be great. I would strongly recommend that if you're interested in this line to go ahead and jump on her website, at least sign up for the emails so you'll know when things are going on sale. And start slow. You know, start with, you know, a good cleanser and a good moisturizer uh, and, you know, slowly build what you have if you're not able to uh, buy a whole range of products at once. Now, just because this is what I use, I would strongly suggest you think about the kind of skin that you have 
and walk through the product lines that she offers because there is something there for everyone. There's something there if you're really dry. There's something there if you are acne prone. There's, you know, she has a lot of different lines and different specialties. And if you're the least bit confused, she has an awesome customer service line. You can give them a call or I think they may even have it, an online chat system. There's a lot of information on that website. So I strongly, you know, even if you're not, don't make an order, go ahead and, and poke around and see what she has to say there because I think it's awesome. So that wraps up my Paula's Choice skincare core skincare products. I'd like to know if you have a brand that you particularly love, that you're particularly loyal to. Uh, leave that below or a particular product that you are like a holy grail product for you because I'm always interested in seeing what people use and and maybe changing my mind, although this would be a hard one to change my mind on. But, um, you know, it's good to see what other people use and what other people recommend. If you do leave a recommendation, share also what your skin type is and what are your issues so people will know if it'll work for them. Thank you so much for joining me, and stay tuned for part two, which are some drugstore alternatives. Take care, and I'll see you real soon. Bye.